Another group known as Concerned on Do State Youth have also protested to the governor's office at Lagwaka Akure. A group led by its coordinator, Brad Enyafe, called for thorough investigation in, of the deputy governor of Ondo State, Loki Ayedetiwa. The group, which appealed to residents to allow the state house assembly to carry out its constitutional duty, has also urged the government of Go Governor Rotimi Akeredolu to give the assembly full support. They said the needful should be done if the deputy governor is found culpable of allegations of gross misconduct. To exercise our constitutional rights. And one of such constitutional rights is to make our demands known to the entire public. Our demand is that the state assembly, empowered by the 1999 constitution as amended, should be allowed to carry out its constitutional duty unhindered and unmaligned by any set of people. We are aware that the deputy governor who is now in battle that has been duly served letter by the state assembly on account of misconduct. This misconduct rages on very grievous allegations. And the parliament has the backing of the people to carry out its constitutional function. We are saying that the democratic system should be maintained and nobody can stop law and order in our state. Not even lucky. There have been several deputy governor before its existence. It will not be the first and it can be the last. Our state cannot be placed in a state of jeopardy. jeopardy. This is a despotic tendency. This is act of tyranny for a deputy governor to think that because it's undergoing impeachment process, the state should be turned to a theater of war. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.